Hi everyone, I'd just like to introduce you to Emma, who's going to tell you why we're having this conversation slash debate that we're organising in on the 15th of December. Emma. Thanks, Johnny. The reason we came together to do this was because we were just noticing a lot of division. Division amongst family members, division amongst friendship groups, and in some cases, division in the relationships, you know, partnerships breaking down over what's going on in the world. And yes, there's a lot of this, this voice and that voice, but there's not a lot of, of where we actually come together. And we we're intending with these conversations to find a space where people do come together, where we remember the things that we love about one another. And we're going to find a way to do that. To, to have the conversations in a way that brings where we can find places of, of crossover and commonality. What do you think, Johnny? Do you agree with me about that? Funnily enough, I do agree with you about that. Um, and one of the things that I noticed is that people just need to be talking. We need to be discussing issues. It doesn't matter whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. I think we need to just be working through these issues. And one of the other issues that I've noticed is we have a broken political system. So one of the other questions I want to discuss is how can we create new political systems? What ideas do people have for improvements and changes? And I think those two topics for the discussion are plenty enough for one conversation. And so that's my response. Thank you, Emma. No problem at all. And we're inviting people, aren't we? People who would like to get involved with the conversation. Because something that we've really noticed is that, that there tends to be very one-sided delivery of information, whether that's whichever side of the fence you're on, you're only in, you tend to be just in an echo chamber with the same information coming around and around and around. So we're inviting people who feel brave enough to bring their point of view and to listen to other people. It's, it's the listening and the hearing that is really missing at the moment. I completely agree. So just to clarify, we're going to invite four vaccinated and four unvaccinated people to join the panel. And we're not going to disclose who's vaccinated or unvaccinated. It's just so that you can see an example of people working together. And, and that's what we're hoping to encourage others to do. Go and have your own conversations and debates like this or however you want to do it so that we can start healing and mending rather than perpetuating this chaos that we seem to be in. I love that, about talking about healing. Just a little aside from numerology, 2022 is, is a six year and sixes are all about healing and coming together. And we, yeah, united we stand, divided we fall. <laughs> Yay. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, so if you want to be involved in this project as a panelist, or you want to watch it, or you want to support in some way, please do drop us a message and we would love to hear from you. And you'll be sharing the link, won't you, Johnny, on your... I will be sharing on various platforms, yes. Yes, because we're not just inviting people to speak, we're also inviting people who are interested to listen yeah. and to come and to hear the, the panellists speak and have their conversation and then we'll be inviting questions from the floor. So if, if it's something, if, if you're feeling a pull, you don't have to be a panellist, but you, you can even just be one of those little people with your initials on Zoom and just listen to what's going on. Um, you're very welcome to join. Great. Thank you, Emma. I think we've relayed all the information that you need at the moment. So we're going to say goodbye. So it's goodbye from me. Thank you. And it's goodbye from me. I'm sure there's a silly joke in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Hope to see you soon, guys. Much love. Take care.